So that's it for the self massage routine. Now we're really gonna focus on the repositioning exercises to get that rib cage expansion. All these muscles are nice, they're full of blood now, we got things moving. So the repositioning should take a bit more and we can get that expansion from the inside out. The first exercise we'll be utilizing in the repositioning drills is a seated banded posterior expansion. We'll need a really light band, think yellow or peach, and that will be between the hands. And then you wanna do a couple of scapular retractions and protractions holding the protracted position. The elbows are below shoulder level, so at about 45 degrees or so. Now, what we'll do with this is we will fully exhale everything out while maintaining that scapular protraction. And as you exhale, you should feel some lower abdominals kick in. Hold your breath for five seconds at the end of that exhale, and then and silently inhale through the nose while keeping the lower abdominals taut. Inhale and feel this expansion through the rib cage in 360 degrees, specifically into the posterior aspect between the shoulder blades. We're trying to expand the rib cage backwards in between the shoulder blades so that way the scapula can sit nice and even on the rib cage. Now, common mistakes we'll see with this exercise are overstretching the band where it's way too taut and tucking the chin underneath. We'll also see folks want to really round their back in like a turtle shell through that thoracic spine. And lastly, we want to watch out for inhaling and utilizing the upper traps. So you'll inhale and shrug the shoulders up versus being able to inhale and send that breath 360 degrees through the rib cage. The second exercise we'll use in this repositioning series is the bare position breathing. So you'll start with a foam roller between your knees and in a quadruped position with the knees directly underneath the hips and hands directly underneath the shoulders. We'll do a couple of scapular retractions and protractions while maintaining the protracted state. You'll then lean forward to put a little bit more weight through the upper body and through the hands and make sure that you're keeping the elbows nice and soft. You don't wanna lock them out and be in a hyper extended position. You'll then maintain this positioning while completing the breathing. So you'll fully exhale everything out, feeling a little bit of lower abdominal tension. You'll then hold for five seconds and then silently inhale through the nose while maintaining that abdominal tension. You should feel some inhalation or expansion into the anterior chest wall, as well as a bit into the posterior aspect in between those shoulder blades. Some common mistakes we'll see with this positioning is we'll hold too much of a lower dotted curvature in the low back to where that back is really just swaying down, which will prevent proper abdominal contraction on your exhalation. And then we'll also see the opposite where people will try to make that turtle shell through the thoracic spine, just getting way too much flexion through that area. You may feel sufficient abdominals with this, but at sacrificing the anterior expansion that should happen. We also wanna watch out for leaning too far back in which the hips and shoulders are behind the knees and the hands. And also again, rounding through that mid spine just a bit too much. And the most important part of this is maintaining that scapular protraction throughout the breathing. This position isn't too difficult, but you may wanna video yourself. As you can see here, this used to be way worse, but maintaining that protracted position with the shoulder blades laminated or glued down to the rib cage, it's pretty tough. And you can see how that left side wants to pop out a little bit more more than the right. So be sure that you're maintaining that positioning, but without too much excessive pec activation, as that pec activation will limit the anterior expansion that should happen. For the last repositioning exercise, we'll be utilizing a door for the supported squat hold. Now you don't have to necessarily use a door, but the most important thing is that you need something to hold on to with your palms facing up. So we'll also be utilizing a foam roller or a yoga block between the knees. And then what you're going to do is squat down to between 45 and 60 degrees of hip flexion. Now you'll also maintain shoulder flexion of about 45 to 60 degrees as well. As you can see, my arm is parallel to my thigh. So I'm gonna make sure my weight is in my heels as I'm hanging backwards off the door in this case. So that way I feel a gentle stretch between the shoulder blades. I'm not necessarily squeezing the foam roller, I'm just holding it in place. And then I will fully exhale everything out, feel some low abdominal tension. I'll maintain that tension through a five second pause. And on the inhalation, where I will feel a gentle expansion through the posterior portion of the rib cage, as well as a little bit into the anterior portion. 
common mistakes we'll see with this exercise are really over rounding and you'll see that turtle shell shape again in the thoracic spine and you'll get some abdominal tension with this but again it's going to limit the anterior chest wall expansion we'll also see pushing the knees way too far forward and leaning upper back too far backwards we'll also see folks will try to squeeze their shoulder blades together in this position when we're actually trying to get some space through there and let that relax 